were looking for participation and for hosting of the next uh, Vanilla Challenge. So I said, okay, that's a good way to start. So why do we start with something first involving uh, innovation, creativity, design, and from there, build up the confidence and open the way forward for us to embrace design thinking in a bigger way. Being exposed to the different workshop uh, since yesterday, I was able to see that applying solutions to different problems doesn't only happen in one day. It requires a lot of thinking processes and coming up with better solutions for the students and also for the society requires a lot of effort. So we are called to build a just and humane society and it's believed that the school is the most logical place to actually raise change makers and it's just wasted. Right? So what I remember from college are the experiences more than the theories. So in this room we realize that you are, each one of you is an agent for change. That's the principle, that's the philosophy of social reconstructionism. So we want to show you the Benil Prize as an avenue, as a platform for you to be able to have a chance to actually shape the world for the better. I find it very helpful because you can't only apply this as a student, you can also apply it when you're solving problems outside, such as dealing with other people. It actually helps you know what more can you do for the society. Bago po kami pumasok ito sa workshop na ito, is, hindi po namin alam about this inclusion or anything about it. Yung workshop na po ito is nakatulong sa amin. Parang may idea din po kami kung how to think more efficient. The workshop helped me a lot understanding the people's need instead of understanding what you can give. Making me realize what's the difference between the need and the necessity. I was very pleased that even though I'm not coming from that area you know, of design and research, I found it very interesting because I can see how it will affect almost any program you want to do. The human approach to design was very interesting to me because that is so La Salle for us to be person-centered rather than just system-centered or product-centered or profit-centered. Ibang iba siya when you want to do research for a business in terms of social business. You have to throw away and put aside your pre-connotations with regards to qualitative research, quantitative research, you have to go to the empathic understanding of people with regards to the problems and social issues that they want to, they see and they want to solve. This workshop actually helps us think in depth on what else does our Philippine education system need and how can these solutions help enhance these problems, these solutions. It really brings into clarification and into light kung how can technology in a very new way help and alleviate a certain social problem. Technology in general is not only for profit, but it can actually also help innovation and also help alleviate the social issues but not only help those uh, students na common pero yung mga marginalized pa ang pwedeng tulungan not only the marginalized in terms of being poor but also those who are disabled or differently able i can see how design thinking can easily fit into our plans that if we can get the buy in at that level i think we'll have less obstacles and more bridges towards extending this program to actually become part of our school culture CSB, thank you very much because you are well placed to break boundaries, to expand our areas of interest, of study, and the kind of education the South wants to provide. And I hope that we will begin a partnership that will enrich DLSU by all that's going on in CSB.